I'm a movie star now. Got to get my hair in the wind. Who's the guy that keeps everybody safe? Or makes them unsafe? Who knows? Hey, can I get you a uh, on your suit? What's up, everybody? So I've had a ton of people asking about our safety equipment that I wear and on the vehicles. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give you guys a rundown on what I use to keep me safe on track. And uh, most of the other drivers will do this as well because a lot of it's required from Formula D uh, to keep us safe. So first off, obviously, we have to wear a suit. So I have Alpine Star suit. Uh, this is a pretty fairly thin one, but it's super safe. No mechs on the inside. Um, this one is custom embroidered. Uh, Alpine Stars does that for us. Super awesome. Um, so this will save me from a fire. These are arm restraints. Uh, I opted to have them sewn into the suit. You can remove the strap itself, but they're actually sewn into the frame of the suit. Um, these go around the seat belts and they stop your arms from going out of the car in the event of an accident or a rollover or anything. They stop your arms from actually leaving. You can opt out of running these and use either a Lexan side window or a uh, net that goes over the side to keep your arms from exiting the vehicle. Um, if you have a sunroof on your car, you'd also need to run them or cover that in some way, shape, or form with a net. Um, gloves. So you always got to run gloves. These are uh, fire-resistant gloves, Alpine Stars. Um, again, like everything's getting so good with technology now. These are super thin. It's like you barely even feel them. Um, and then our radio comms. So this is like uh, we put these in our ears so we can hear for our spotter and our crew and everything. Uh, it's also a safety deal in case something's wrong with the car or we need to leave the car or my spotter can see that maybe it's on fire or the other car is on fire and I need to get out. They let me know it's a direct connection with what's happening outside of the car. And obviously this helps us win events so we can plan and do everything that we need to to be able to drive the car at its maximum abilities. So and then obviously there's a helmet. This is the comm cable for that so we can plug in and talk. Um, Helmet is one of the biggest things. Uh, you know, this is an HJC helmet. It's really high impact resistant. Um, this is a carbon helmet, so it's super light. People don't really notice with the weight, but when you're in a car for four or five hours a day with a helmet on, it starts to add up. Um, protective shield, this will stop anything from really going through or damaging, getting into your eyes or face. Um, it's also amber, so we can see a little bit better. Um, it helps uh, separate the smoke from the actual track. Uh, back here we have Hans clips and that will move on to our next safety unit. We wear these, they go over your neck here and the uh, belts will come over the top and basically what they do is tether into your helmet. Um, they snap into these pieces here. It allows pretty good movement left and right for being able to see drifting um, but the key for this is to stop your head from going forward in an accident. So your belts go over the top of this, this gets pressed against you. So your helmet is tethered to this and you can't have any movement forward or too much movement sideways. So it saves your neck in an accident. Um, obviously in drifting we're not at insane speeds, but I mean, I'm sure you guys have maybe even just bumped something or hit the brakes and you feel your head move forward. Or if you've been in an accident and you feel your back hurting or neck after an event or after the actual accident, then uh, this is something that would help in those kind of cases. Um, this was like a big thing after Dale Earnhardt's death. Uh, they mandated these in NASCAR, so we run them as well. And then, I don't have my shoes, but we have fire retardant shoes that are also Alpine Stars and they're a little bit high, go up over the ankle. Um, I don't have them here with me, but. 
So then inside the car we have belts. Uh, these are two inch belts for the Hans. Uh, if you don't run a Hans, you'll want three inch belts. Um, my comm piece is on here, that plugs into the helmet. Uh, it's a six point belt. It's really important to have these belts extremely tight across your waist. Um, that is what actually stops you from you know, breaking your legs, pelvis, back, everything is pretty much in these lower belts. These help you from coming forward. It's a cam lock, scroth harness, um, six points. So you got two between the legs, uh, two on the sides and two over the top. We have side protection seats. Um, so these are basically a halo seat. Stops your head from coming in contact with the cage uh, and also from ex overextending your neck. Uh, so that's obviously a big safety key. These are carbon Kevlar, super, super strong, have almost no flex to them. A lot of race seats have flex, these do not. Um, it's meant to hold you as tight as possible and not allow you to move. Um, we have fire suppression in the car. So if we do have a fire in the car, there's nozzles aimed at my feet, the back of the car, over the fuel cell, in the engine bay, um, underneath in the rear diff area, um, and you can see the blue nozzle there. That's, uh, it emits the, uh, the, the fire suppression out of the car, or into the car, to uh, put a fire out. It's activated here by pulling this uh, lever right here, labeled fire. We should probably get some new uh, paint on that. We'll get that done. Um, so fire suppression stuff. Uh, we have a radio walkie here. I press this to be able to talk to the team. So in case there is anything I can ask questions, they'll radio back to me. It's a direct connection to the team. Um, the shift boot is fire retardant in case there's a fire or an accident um, and any of the transmission or exhaust is on fire. This will stop that from coming into the car. If we go to the other side really quickly. We have a kill switch for the car, it goes back here, and we also have one in the engine bay, uh, that's to kill the power to the car. So immediately if I get into an accident or anything, anything on fire or electrical is going haywire or having any issues, um, we, I'll reach over, I'll pull that key out, likely I'll just drop it on the floor because I'm trying to get out as quickly as possible, and upon exiting I'll pull the fire suppression. Um, if I'm already looking like I'm going to be on fire, I'll pull the fire suppression first, <laughs> whatever it, it takes. Um, we do kind of practice that a little bit just in case it happens because I'm not trying to, trying to lose my life due to a fire. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it like outside of the actual chassis build. Like we're required to have firewalls that cover the fuel system in the back half of the car from the cockpit. As you can see here, um, and that's basically separating everything that's in the back of the car from being able to go into the car. Um, all of the holes in the firewall have to be grommeted and sealed, um, just in case there's any accident or fluid leaks or anything in the engine bay. Um, our dry sump tank also has a firewall right here. So if the oil ruptures or has a problem inside of the dry sump tank, we can go ahead and plug that so no, no fluids get sprayed onto the driver. Like hot oil is a disaster. It's definitely not good. Um, and then obviously, uh, oh yeah, roll cage. Yeah, so to touch on that real quick. Double door bars on both sides up high to actually block out any issues with the driver getting side impact. Um, this cage is all fully TIG welded, one and three quarter uh, 095 wall tubing um, with uh, a lot of structural bracing at the actual um, the legs of each cage so that they can't fold in. Um, fire uh, foot protection bars that go forward to block out the uh, uh, wheel from coming through the firewall. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty simple uh, cage, but very very effective.
so that's pretty much all the safety equipment that is easily visible on the car. Um, obviously when these cars are built, safety is one of the number one priorities. Um, so each, each individual piece is built in, in uh, thought of either A, either get easily getting out of the car or uh, surviving an impact. Like each piece is bolt on so it can be replaced quickly. Um, so that way we can keep those safety equipment on the car while we're driving in the next round. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, follow, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you want me to do any more technical videos like this, drop them in the comments.